hey friends welcome to this new video so this is the third portion of the Canada immigration video in this video I will be showing you how to apply for health and safety jobs for Canada not only for Canada it will be useful for Europe also so guys if you found this video useful or helpful please don't forget to comment your feedback let me know if you are trying for the immigration so that I can also help you now for the subscribers who are new to this video please see my old videos the part 1 and part 2 for the Canada immigration from the playlist the career guidance where you can go through and you can understand what all things you have to do and don't do before you apply for the Canada immigration and what is the scope how you can apply what are the various methods through which you can apply for your profession in Canada and people who are focusing on the Gulf what is the qualification needed for the Gulf how much is the salary for the Gulf countries everything is already mentioned in my one of my video which is also there in the playlist career guidance you can go there you can check it back so I am very sure this will cover and this will help most of our people who are looking forward to step into the Canada Europe or to the Gulf so let us cut the crap and we will get into our subject so you have seen uh, there are lots of websites are available for searching the jobs for Canada for the Europe but you have noticed the scope for the health and safety is very less in countries like Canada and Europe even I got a feedback from one of our subscriber that there is no scope for health and safety in uh, outside countries like in Europe or in Canada so first of all I would like to clarify your doubts that you can't say there is no scope for health and safety uh, in Canada and in Europe this is a very vital very important uh, job role in an organization if you see any domain if you uh, consider the oil and gas if you consider the constructions in Germany uh, I mean in Europe or in Canada everywhere safety is very much required from my personal experience my one of my friend who is working as a software developer in Canada he only told me there is a huge demand for the safety professionals in Canada because the they consider the safety to be a very important part of the organization part of the society if uh, but the role there the role for the safety officer is very vast very important very vital and you can understand from this fact that when he said to me like if the authorities of if the government authorities found any kind of loopholes any kind of hazards or risks present in the site they will put hefty heavy fines on the people on the organization so from that you can uh, understand uh, like what is the importance how important is safety in Canada and in other European countries while working in India I have noticed many times uh, the officials used to compromise with the safety uh, in warehouses in the factories in the companies but not like India in Canada in European countries they put very much uh, important it is a very vital part of a, a organization they put very importance to the safety so the role of safety is very important in this country so the next question is why don't we get opportunities to uh, to Canada and Europe for safety jobs why there is not much uh, safety jobs available in indoor in the glass door in such kind of job portals so I checked with my friend because there is a safety professional who is working in his company so I had a very good conversation with him so what he said is the level of experience the level of communication the level of certification is not sufficient for the candidates who are applying for the safety jobs in Canada from the outside see this is the reality you are not going to get this kind of information in any other YouTubes because the other youtubers they are not going to share this kind of details with you so here I am going to tell you the reality and even uh, why I am telling you is because I got an interview call from one of the companies there so I am going to share my experience also so the first very important thing is experience you must have 
the relevant experience in safety experience in safety means finding out in hazards is not a part of safety or doing or filling up the checklist is not the part of safety you must be having proper experience in safety you must be in a advisor level positions to get a good job in uh, health and safety in canada or in european jobs working as a health and safety coordinator if you are planning to move out to europe or planning to move out to canada it is very difficult for you to get a job or else the other option for you is to, you have to go as a student you have to do a course there in the university is there you will get a practical approach and you will be absorbed into the job there otherwise it is very uh, difficult i i must say it is uh, very difficult to get a job if you don't have proper experience in health and safety occupation the next is the communication part which is very important if you see the ilts is very important and as a part of ilts uh you have to get at least clb if you are getting the clb band 8 or 9 it is very important because the language efficiency is very important to work anywhere in canada or in europe the people used to say if you uh, if you just uh pass the ilts if you go more on to europe or to canada you can easily manage the job but friends dear friends i wanted to make you sure that the job where we are working is not like the regular jobs see my friend is working as a software developer for him it is very it is quite easy uh, to work on a technical side he just, he don't need to um, make a communication with his uh, customers because he have to just complete his technical part and it is over but for us for the safety health and safety professionals the scenario is very different we have our job role is quite different from what the software or the other technical people used to do we have to communicate properly with our workforce right this is the very important part of our re- job responsibilities so the communication is very important if you can't communicate properly with the canadians with the other workforce if you can't understand them if you can't guide them then it will be very difficult for you to get a proper job there so make sure whenever you apply for the job or whenever you get a interview call just present your uh, yourself with a very good communication just put a very good communication i'm not saying that you have to be a native speaker to crack the interview but you have to make sure that your communication is very precise and clear and they can understand next is the certification level most of us have the nibosh with us but if you check for the yes the for the europe nibosh is valid but if you ta- if you are targeting the canada again certification is a problem however they accept nibosh but in most of the scenarios they were used to ask for the crsp registration canadian registered safety professional and for becoming crsp member you have to be uh you have a valid you must have a valid bachelor's degree of four years and you have valid experience and you must have the valid ilts score the language score must be there so these are the other criteria if you have crsp then obviously you can apply for that in my case why i got the call is because i have nibosh i am a i have certifications with asp and csp so they give more uh, preference to the to the csp and asp certifications than nibosh so that is the reason i got the call from the one of the interviewer now how we can improve our chances of hitting the bulls eye so i will give you some ideas the first thing very important thing is every country have their own formats of resumes and cover letter i mean for the canada you have different uh, format for the uh, cover letters the resumes and for the europe you have different format so make sure that you don't send the format of indian or gulf st- uh, formats resume format to the canada or don't send the european format to the canada because the canadians won't accept your cover letter and resume just make sure that you have proper canadian cover letter and resume and send it to to the job where you are applying also very important to know some of the very good uh, websites to apply for the canadian or european jobs 
which are like indeed the step stone the glass door monsters stack overflow mowberries all these details i am going to give you in the description just up upload your resume and cover letter in this websites and i am sure you will be going to get a job call and finally i wanted to say don't get upset there are lots of opportunities are coming up in this countries there are chances are lots of chances are there that you may get a call now coming to my side how i got a, a call from them is like i have started to applying for this uh, app websites i used to regularly uh, apply to apply to this uh, canadian jobs through this websites and i got a call from the interviewer so i will share my experience with you uh, what all uh, things were done from my side so the first thing is i have applied uh, to this company uh, through the indeed the indeed canada website i have applied to them with a nice very nice cover letter and the resume and one of my friend has suggested me to go for an app like in a play store there is an app where you can get an canadian or european numbers and if you uh, have some balance if you keep some balance in them that number will be active and the people can call you on that number is it is a kind of uh, getting a canadian number sitting outside of the canada so it is quite easy it is like an app so on that number they will be they will try to call you or they will message you so i got a call uh, on that Uh, on that uh, account or i mean on that app uh, i have attended the interview so there was a three level the first was the technical level they asked me all the health and safety re rules regulations the duties what i do the second was the hr uh, verification was there and in the third they asked me for the reference so friends believe me uh, the reference is very important uh, they have asked me for the three references so make sure that whenever you give uh, the references it should be the valid references the people must know you so if everything goes right uh, obviously you can ex expect an offer letter so i'm waiting for that if uh, everything is okay if uh, i can manage the other things i'm sure uh, i can get an offer letter from them and after that i will be focusing on the programs through which i can move on so this is how uh, you can apply so it's quite simple the th first thing is as i said experience is very important you must have sufficient experience the proper communication to convince the uh, people who are calling you so this is the way you can apply for the jobs just uh, comment how you felt if you have any difficulties please let me know i am always here to help you and surely uh, stay tuned uh, for our next videos on the nibosh questions and answers